it going? <laughs> it's so dark. Oh, no, no, it's good. I just needed a second to find you. Why are you so beautiful? I can't help it. <laughs> I was made this way. Isn't that a um, Lady Gaga song? Yeah. Baby, I was born this way. See, I, I told you, way. here comes some cars. Yeah, hey, we should, we should just wait in line right now. What do you think? Yeah, go up to the door. No, man, I don't want to be the only one standing here but like an idiot. Well, you already are an idiot, so what are you trying to hide? Just kidding. Just kidding. You're not an idiot. You know, I love you. Okay, so we are sitting outside of urgent care. Um, Kirsten has a cold, and it's gotten progressively worse over the, the last few days, and it's kind of like settled in his chest. So he's really raspy, and his lungs are all congested. Is that what you say? Lungs are congested? Yeah? I think so. So just to be safe, we're going to have him checked out because, you know, he's still pretty young and I get really nervous about pneumonia or what's the other one? Is it called RSV? I think it is RSV season right now. So he's acting fine. He's just really tired and he's having a hard time sleeping because he's coughing so much. And when he coughs, he kind of cries. I think it's hurting his throat. So we've been driving around for the last hour, probably trying to find a place to be seen, but everybody's wait is like an hour or longer. So, um, we found this place, it's a, just for kids only, which is nice. So they open at 1130, which is kind of weird, but we are sitting out in front waiting for them to open. And that's why I'm trying to tell Kent to go wait in line so that we can be first in line. There's like three people here waiting too. See, you run up really fast. Okay. I'm going to pretend like I'm on the phone waiting. <laughs> I told Kent, whosever baby is the sickest gets to be seen first. I'm going to say, we've already been driving around for three hours. How long have you been driving around? Okay. We'll let you guys know how everything goes. I'm sure he's fine, but this is just kind of for peace of mind type of thing, you know? Carsey, are you okay? Are you okay, sweet boy? Oh, I know. You're happy right now, huh? Okay, so we are done from the doctor, and it was a bit traumatic, a little bit. Would you say it was traumatic? No, it was traumatic. Uh, do you not remember Kirsten screaming for his life for like 15 minutes straight? You know, that wasn't traumatic to you? I was about to break out in hysterical tears the whole time while we were doing that. Were you? Yeah, I was having to hold it back. You're holding it back, really? Yeah, that was so, um, made me like so sad. You weren't sad about that? He was freaking his freak out, and it was because of something we were doing to him. That made me sad. That didn't make you sad? No, it didn't make me sad. I was you didn't feel thing. bad for him? I feel bad for him. So, um, they ran some tests, and he tested positive for RSV, which is so sad. Um, but thankfully, I think we caught it pretty early on, so we don't need to, you know... RSV, if you don't catch it early on, it can get pretty serious. And um, some of my friends have had their babies hospitalized for it. Um, it can turn into pneumonia. And so they didn't seem too concerned. Um, but they did send us home with one of those nebulizers. Is that what it's called? Well, it was a breathing machine. Yeah, it's pretty much a breathing machine that has medicine that you put in it. And you just hold the mask to their face. But um, did you see them taking a picture? Yeah, where they taking a picture? I don't know. There's nothing over there. <laughs> But um, he hates it. I mean, who wouldn't? But I mean, he's so young where you can't explain to him what's going on and kind of like talk him through it. So we, I had to hold his head down and Kent had to hold his arms down and he's just beat red, screaming and sweating for the whole time the whole treatment's going off. So we're supposed to give it to him every four to six hours. So I have no idea what I'm gonna do when I'm by myself. I don't, I don't think it's even possible for me to do it by myself. I'm gonna have to get help somehow. Maybe you'll get used to it. Maybe he'll get used to it, yeah. So that's done. He has a double ear infection as well, and he's teething. So poor baby. But he's he's been considerably like pretty good. I mean, for everything that's going on with him, you think he'd be a lot more grouchy. But he's not sleeping that great because he's waking himself up because he's coughing, and he gets kind of fussy every now and then when he's not feeling his best. But he's not bad at all. That you would think if you had double ear infections and. RSV and teething that you would just be a hot mess the whole entire day, but he's happy and still playing and so the doctor said that's a good sign 
and um, he also responded well to the treatment. They noticed his oxygen levels got better after the treatment, so she said that's another good sign because sometimes babies don't respond to the uh, breathing treatment. It's just kind of different with each baby, so things are looking good in those areas, and um, we are going to pick up some lunch right now at Abuelo's and um, Weston is at our mother-in-law's house and then I don't know is she gonna keep Weston or what are we doing so she, she's at our house oh she's at our house okay they're still at our house okay so we'll go home and see what the rest of the day brings we'll see wish us luck with the breathing treatments wish Carson luck really he's the one that struggles with it do you love me so much no why just kidding <laughs> oh sweet boy so sad. Hey, sweet boy. Oh, bless you. That sounded like a good sneeze. That medicine is working. Mm -hmm. yeah, that oh, gosh. Yeah. I need a little tissue. Oh, okay. Like sandpaper? <laughs> that is sandpaper, man. Why are you always trying to wipe their noses with the hardest paper possible? Wet it, man. Just wet it. Does it matter? He's, look, we have these. Kirsten, I'm gonna save you. Kurt, oh, Kent, he's been through so much today. The last thing he needs is sandpaper on his nose. Pop, pop, Kirsten, pop, pop, pop. Okay, you, you can hit your dad. You have my permission. Look, we have these, okay? You know what? They work. These are just wet paper napkins, okay? No, it's Same thing. it really works good. It's just saline. Okay, oh, this oh, is oh, oh, oh. oh gosh. Here you go. This is what happens when mom and dad aren't paying attention, huh? Hey, can you give me that napkin now? You mean this sandpaper? This piece of sandpaper? Oh, that's a lot. A lot of it. Oh, I think maybe it hurts his throat. You want some water? Do you not want this? We'll try it again. It has strawberries in it. You think strawberries burn? Maybe acid or something? Yeah. Did you mean a paper towel? Did you say or what? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean or what? What do you mean or what? Like Does your throat hurt? How about some applesauce? He loves applesauce. We have some. Do it two handed. Come on, man. Hurry up. <gasps> you really love me, right, Kent? Not really at this second. Last week on our vlog, you were mad at me for the freezer. Yeah. And this week, you're mad at me for just being alive. For breathing. I think, Too loud. Should, <laughs> <laughs> I think you should say something nice about me. Let's have a second of you talking nice about me. What do you want to say? You're so lucky to have me. <laughs> so lucky. Say something nice. I don't know what you're talking about. <gasps> Carson, do you want some applesauce? I know what you can say, Kent. What? Kendra. You are such a fun person. I'm so lucky to have you as my wife. Kendra, you are such a good mom to our boys. I'm so grateful for that. Should I give him some? No, just do applesauce. This is applesauce. That has blueberries and carrots in it. He, he likes this one. He's had this one before. But just go with something simple. It might be burning his throat. You're too lazy to open the box on the floor. Is that why? Yeah. Well, these are older, right? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Guys, don't judge us for um for giving Carson baby food pouches, okay? I would have never done that with Weston, ever. It was like baby led weaning all the way, homemade everything. Carson, it's like, here's some little chunks of broccoli, get what you can, and here's a pouch of food. It's bad. That's called second babyitis. That's what happens when it's your second baby. Do you guys wanna look at all the Christmas cards? Some of these are from our subscribers. And our Instagram buddies and our Periscope buddies. This is one of my favorites. This is our friend Ashley. Ashley, we've never met her in real life, but she is she is a special one. And here's Miss Jordan. Some of you guys may know Jordan as Fit by Jordan. This is my my BFF and her twins. This is um, also somebody else. She's a fellow photographer, but we met online. We've never met in person before, but how cute is her card? Look at the back. It's flipped, but they have a reindeer in their picture. These are my clients. I shot these pictures. Toot toot, toot my own horn there. And the back of their card has a pretty one. This is my friend. 
<clears throat> okay, this is Lene's card. If you guys are ever on Periscope, you see Lene all the time. She's hilarious. This is her cat, and on the back she says, she says, if you're wondering, this is what a single lady's Christmas card looks like. <laughs> I think that's the best ever. This is from <clears throat> another one of our Instagram buddies, and she drew a sketch drawing of her dog. How cool is that? And this card, this one was pretty special. This is from Kelly. Caitlin, whoa, sorry, Caitlin. And she wrote the sweetest, sweetest, sweetest letter. This one almost made me cry, really close to it. This is from Sweet Andrea. She's another one of our social media buddies. And she sent some really cute Christmas ornaments for our tree. And then we go all the way up. Everybody else is in real life friends. But I'm really behind on writing everybody back. And if you send us a card, I wanted to be sure to um, give you the attention and the gratitude that you deserve. If you wrote us a, a note, I wanted to be able to write you back. And so I'm behind because I have so many letters to write. So if you don't see your card hanging up here, it's because it's in this bag. In this bag? No. It's in a different bag. But I have all the cards um, that I haven't replied to yet in a baggie, and I, I'm writing, you know, letters as I, as I can. So some people, you yeah, might be getting a Christmas card for Valentine's. But you're going to get a Christmas card. It's coming. I'm working on it soon. It'll get there. And so then I'm going to have to leave these up forever because then I need to put everybody else's up that I haven't hung yet so that we can enjoy them too. Okay, I need to go get my Walmart order. Are you loving that? That's so good, buddy. You see, I love some applesauce. Look at his little hands. They're my fave. Your little hands. I love them so much. Nice. What kind of song is that? Yeah. You're taking your socks off? Yeah. Can you help me take my shoes off? My socks off. My socks off, yeah. Can you help me take my shoes off? Yeah. You help me take my shoes off, I'll help you take your socks off, okay? Here you go. Oh, yeah. Can you do it? Pull from the bottom. Can you do it? Can you do it? I can't. Kit is eating um, Wendy's chicken sandwich for dinner. And he made this for me because he knows I'm trying to be healthy. You can't do it. You can't do it. Pull, pull from the bottom of my foot. See where my, my heel is? Pull. Pull. You almost got it. <gasps> You're starting to get it. Pull. <laughs> Can you say bye to everybody on the camera? Oh. What was that? Bye. Bye. Say thank you so much for watching. Thanks so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. And hit that like button. And hit the like button. And say happy vlog, you weary. And happy new year. Can <laughs> 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 you say happy vlog, you weary? Happy Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Weston, you're just talking about Christmas, but do you know what holiday is coming? Yeah. What holiday is coming? Yeah. Do you remember? Uh -huh. Valentine's. Valentine's. What do we celebrate for Valentine's? Oh, well, come over here. I can't hear you. You celebrate someone that you love yeah. for Valentine's? Hey, can you show me your wink? Come over here so I can see it. Let me see your wink. Let me see it. <laughs> Say bye, Kent. Adios. Yep. It's been a bit of a wacky day. Uh, hopefully this turns out to be some kind of a vlog. I don't really know what I can piece together to make a vlog, but it's been a little a little interesting. Everything's going okay, though. Carson is sleeping. I think he'll sleep a lot more comfortably tonight. We're going to hang out with this guy for it a little bit longer, and then we are going to go to bed, too. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you are enjoying Bloguary. Woohoo! Week three, Bloguary. That's right. It's week three of Bloguary. Oh, good job. You're on a road. I can't do this. I can't do this.